Hey guys, welcome back in your video series of C programming by Tech Booster. So friends, here in this video, I have two assignments for you based on the concept that we went through in our last video, that is our conditional statement. So here you can try these assignments from your end or else you can go through the video where I'll give solution for these assignments. And here our first assignment is to write a C program to check whether the entered value is an uppercase character or not. That is here in this case will allow our user to enter any character and then our program will check out whether the entered character is a uppercase character or not. So how to solve this one? So for this first of all I will open my code block. So this is my code block and here this is my basic structure. Here before going through our code first of all you need to know one very important thing like whenever you consider any of your character or compiler basically converts it into respective ASCII value. So what is your ASCII value? So for this I will just open my browser. So this is my browser and your ASCII value is nothing but American standard code for information interchange. So here I have table where you have all the ASCII values. So here you can see these are the ASCII value for all my upper characters like 65 to your 90 from A to Z. These are the ASCII value for our uppercase alphabet from A to Z and if I consider my lowercase alphabet in that case my ASCII value will start from 97 you can see this is my A and this is my Z from uh, 97 to 122 this is for my lowercase alphabets. So here in this case based on our condition or based on our question we need to work with our uppercase character and here basically our ASCII value will start from 65 to 90. So based on this we will build our logic. So let me once again open my code block here and here we will start by considering a character. So this is my data type character. I consider a variable a and here uh, let me use my printf function to print my message enter any character so this is my message and in order to consider my user input I'll use my scanf function and here as this is a character we need to use percentage C comma your end operator or address operator and then your variable now this will allow our user to enter any character. So now here I will start with my conditional statement. So here my first condition will be if a greater than or equal to 65 and a less than or equal to 90. So if any of our sk value lies in this range then what I will do I will print f the entered character is upper case so this is my message or else what we'll do or i'll use else else i'll just copy this one let me just copy this one and i'll paste it here and here i'll just print my message the entered character is not uppercase so I'm done with this one now I'll just use my return function return 0 and once you are done you can run this particular program and once you run here you need to enter your character so let me enter my character let me enter it as capital A and once you press enter you can see the entered character is uppercase Similarly, if I run my program once again and here in this case, if I enter small a, this is my lowercase and if I press enter, the entered character is not uppercase. So guys, this is our first assignment and I hope your logic is clear here. Basically, what we have done, we are working with our ASCII value, especially in case of our characters. Now, let's move forward towards our slide and check out our next assignment so this is our next assignment and here what basically you need to do you need to find whether a entered year is leap year or not 
so here basically we will allow our users to enter any year and then our program will decide whether the entered year is a leap year or not so here in order to find or in order to build a logic to calculate whether an year is a leap year or not for that we need to know the conditions so in order to get the condition how to decide whether a year is leap or not i will again open my browser and here in google I'll just write how to calculate leap year. Okay, so once you press enter, so you can see these are your steps. Let me just open this one in another browser. Oh, sorry, another tab. method to determine whether a year is leap year or not so these are your method first of all if your year is evenly divisible by 4 then we can go to step 2 otherwise go to step 5 so our first condition is our entered year should be divisible by 4 if your entered year is not divisible by 4 then directly you can say that it is not a leap year secondly if our year is divisible by 4 then we will check our second condition if the entered year is evenly divisible by 100 then we will check out whether the entered year is evenly divisible by 100 or not if divisible by 100 then we will move to our third step or else we will decide that our entered year is a leap year so if our entered year is divisible by 100 then we will check out whether the year is completely divisible by 400 or not if it is completely divisible by 400 then we will decide that the entered year is leap year or else we will decide our entered year is not a leap year so these are the conditions that you need to fulfill and here basically what we need to do we need to use our nested if statement now let us once again open our code block and try our assignment 2 so here i will just create another file and let me save it as conditional assignment 2 okay so here again we need to start with our header file has include stdio.h now this is my main function Now here, first of all, we need to allow our user to enter a year and year is nothing but our integer. So this will be your int a and here we will use our printf function to display our message. Enter any year. Now here we will use our scanf function to allow our user input and this one will be your percentage d your address operator and your variable a now once you have your input that is your year now comes our condition so here first our condition is to check out whether the entered year is divisible by 4 or not if it is divisible by 4 then we'll check our next condition or else we we'll directly state that the entered year is not leap year so here my first condition is if a modulus operator 4 equals to 0 so here basically what I am checking whether my remainder is 0 or not if 0 then we will use our next condition or else directly I will use my else condition first else I will print print f my message here will be entered year is not leap year Okay, so this is my message if our entered year is not divisible by 4 but if our entered year is divisible by 4 then we need to again check whether that particular year is divisible by 100 or not if that particular year is divisible by 100 then we'll check our next condition or else we'll directly state that the entered year is our leap year so here again i'll write if a divisible by 100 is equal sorry this is not thousand this should be a hundred it will be zero so if this one is divisible then we'll have our next condition or else directly what we can write else we'll directly 
print this is a leap year so i'll just again copy this particular line and here i'll print the entire year is a leap year or else here we need to again check whether that particular year is divisible by 400 or not so here again what i'll write a modulus operator 400 divisible by 0 now if that particular year is divisible by 400 then we'll print that the entered year is a leap year here i'll print entered year is a leap year or else the entered year is not leap year or else the entered year is not leap year so this is our logic here now once you are done with this one i can uh, i'll need to use my return here return zero and retu rn now once done you need to run your program and once you run your program here i need to consider my year so first of all let me consider 2000 we know 2000 is a leap year so once you press enter you can see entered year is a leap year so this is satisfying my conditions now again if i consider any number which is not divisible by 4 let me consider 2001 and once you press enter entered year is not leap year so my program is working quite well now let me just once again open my browser and here you can see uh, i have few years let me check out few of these years whether my program is working well or not let me consider 1800 1900 and 2100 and these are not leap years so let me once again run this one and let me consider 1800 so here you need to consider 1800 once you press enter this is not leap year if you consider 1900 again it should display not leap year again let me consider 1900 this is not leap year if you again consider 2100 our program should display it as not leap year so this is not leap year so our program is working quite well so i hope your logic is clear here or else you can go through this program once again then you can practice this from your end and then directly you can move forward towards your next video so guys with this i'll be winding this video here we'll see you in my next video till then goodbye and take care